Christ is our victory. Daily Meditations on Great Texts from the Book of Books May 26th The Backward Look Say not thou, what is the cause that the former days were better than these? For thou dost not inquire wisely concerning this. Ecclesiastes 7.10 Whenever I hear people dreaming of the good old days, my memory goes back to frosty mornings when as a child I broke ice in the pitcher to get wash water and then shivered while the freshly lighted fire began slowly to melt an inch of frost from the window. I am not certain I would want to go back, and am glad to note that the wise man cautions us against living in the past. Dwelling on imaginary past advantages robs us of strength and vitality needed for today's tasks. Certainly there is encouragement to be gained from reviewing God's leading in the past, but to look back longingly, forgetting that He is with us still, is to deny our faith in his watch care. Tempus fugit, time flies, was the watchword on many a Roman sundial, which served as a warning that if one did not wish to be left behind, he must keep pace with the present. As we near the end of Earth's history, we need to recognize the urgency of our task. Each day brings us nearer to eternity. Life at best is very brief. Why should we look wistfully back at the past and neglect the present? Satan would like to have us live in the past spiritually and depend upon some former experience rather than to enjoy fresh new manifestations of God's grace. The Bereans caught the secret of spiritual success as they searched the scriptures daily. It was a daily companionship with God which they enjoyed. The Bible study of yesterday needs to be supplemented by further investigation today. Every day, God provides anew just the experience we need for the present. Let us open our hearts to His blessings today, leaving all, past, present, and future, to His providence.